many situations when the Hamiltonian operator does not depend on time. The wave function psi of RT can be separated into two different functions, one depending on position alone and one depending on time alone. This is a method of separation of variables which will be used to derive the time independent Schrodinger equation. So we are going to use the method of separation of variables which helps us write the wave function psi of RT as the product of two different functions say phi of R and T of T. Here phi of R is containing exclusively the space part R and T of T will contain the uh, time dependent part. Now let's begin by uh, writing the Schrodinger's time dependent equation which we derived in last class. in three dimension. It goes like this i h cut dou psi by dou t is equal to minus h cut square by 2m del square plus v of r times psi. So this is the time dependent equation of a Schrodinger's time dependent equation. Now what we do is substitute equation 1 back to equation 2. So substitute 1 into the equation 2 and I am going to divide throughout by the wave function phi of r into t of t. So it is like 1 by phi of r into t of t i h cut dou by dou t of instead of psi we can now replace it as phi of r into t of t is equal to minus h cut square by 2m del square plus v of r into instead of psi it is uh, phi of r into t of t and we have to divide also by phi of r into t of t. Let's call this equation 3. Now we got to apply this. So this will be 1 by you see if you take the derivative time derivative dou by dou t of this phi of r will come out because it is depending only on position and here we have the uh, we are going to derive it with respect to time so only this part remains here and this will come out which will get cancelled with the phi of r over here so in effect we get it as 1 by t of t i h cut uh, dou t of t by dou t so this phi of r has come out and got cancelled with the phi of r in the denominator and we get the LHS as 1 by t of t i h cut dou t of t by dou t and this is better written as dt by dt. The next step we will write it so that is equal to here you have to see that uh, this del square is a uh, Laplacian operator which contains only the space part no time part and here we are sticking on to the potentials which depend only on position and not time so time does not come here so if this operator works on this wave function uh, it will be acting only on the phi of r part because this is containing the space coordinate and t of t will be the constant which comes out and that will get cancelled with the t of t over here so this can be written as 1 by uh, phi of r into t of t let us elaborate that minus h cut square by 2m del square plus v of r and this will act only on phi of r and the t of t should come out which get cancelled with the t of t in the denominator. So you see that we get two different equations here. The LHS contain exclusively only the 
time variable and if you see the RHS it is 1 by 5 of R minus h cut square by 2 m del square plus v of R into 5 of R and so this contain only the variable R. Okay. So left hand side is a function of uh, is a function of time only and right hand side is a function of R only and that was what we intended with the use of uh, separation of variable method. So we have separated the variables or in the LHS it contain only the time variable and RHS contain only the uh, position variable and if this is to hold good for all cases it must be equated to the same constant. Okay. So let us call it the constant as E and let us call it as equation 4. one by d of t dt by dt is equal to one by five of r minus h cut square by two m del square plus v of r into five of r is equal to the constant e. So now you can see that languages and RHS is equated to a constant. So let's equate, let's rewrite, uh, let's equate LHS and RHS to the constant. Now, now let's write this equation as two different equations. So this will, uh, L, if I equate LHS to E, I can write it as I H cut uh, DT of T by DT is equal to E into T of T. So this E over here, let us call this equation 5A. And if I equate the RHS, this will be minus H cut square by 2M del square plus v of r into phi of r is equal to e into phi of r. So from equation 5 we have obtained two different equations. So you can see that this is the eigenvalue equation for the energy operator and this is better written as h into phi of r is equal to E into phi of r. So this will be the energy, sorry, the eigenvalue equation for the Hamiltonian operator with Hamiltonian h given by minus h cut square by 2m del square plus v of r. Now this is actually equation 5 we represents the Schrodinger's time independent form. So you see that there is no time dependent, time dependence coming over in this equation. So this represents the steady state equation. Or we say that it is the Schrodinger's time independent equation. Schrodinger's time independent equation from the method of separation of variables. We have assumed that the wave function can be written as the product of two different functions. One which contain only the position coordinate and the other which contain the time coordinate. Okay. Also you can see that equation 5a can be integrated to obtain what is t of t. So this is easily integrable. So after integrating this we get t of t as uh, e raised to minus i e t by h cut. So this represents a solution to the eigen equation, eigenvalue equation for energy operator. And therefore, we will write the complete set of solutions because we have begun with writing the uh, wave function psi of r t as the product uh, phi of r into t of t. Now that we got what is t of t, we may write the wave function psi of r t as uh, phi of r into e raised to minus i e t by h cut. So this represents the solution of our equation 2, the three dimensional Schrodinger's equations. So you see that here if you take psi mode square which is the probability density, you get it as uh, as something independent of time. Here, when you take the probability density phi, uh, 
When you take the probability density of this equation, you see that this will be independent of time. The probability density become independent of time and hence such states we refer to as the stationary states. Whenever the probability density is independent of time, such states we call it as stationary states. So the complete solution to Schrodinger equation can be given by this equation phi of r is d of t which is phi of r into e raised to minus i e t by h cut and so the state is represented as a state is said to be a stationary state and uh, Niels Bohr was the first to suggest the existence of such stationary states.